Hey guys, TVG here with another episode of Blast from the Past. Today we're going to be focusing on Raquel Welch as she presents an Academy Award for Best Achievement in Sound in the 39th Annual Academy Awards in 1967. Let's take a look. So it's time to announce it, our home for our first little orphan Oscar. Here's a new star in the celluloid sky, a heavenly body that made the fantastic voyage from small parts to leading roles. Her name is Raquel Welch, and she's here to help that engaging young leading man, Dean Jones, present our first Oscar. Raquel, will you begin, please? Certainly. We're honored to present the award for the best achievement in sound. The nominations are Gambit, Universal City Studio Sound Department. Grand Prix, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Studio Sound Department. Hawaii, Samuel Goldwyn Studio Sound Department. The Sand Pebbles, 20th Century Fox Studio Sound Department. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, Warner Brothers Studio Sound Department. I tell you, um, Raquel, I'll open the envelope and you read the winner, all right? My eyes are busy. (laughs) (laughs) The winner is Metro Golden Mayor Studio Sound Department for Grand Prix. Accepting on behalf of Metro Goldwyn Mayor Studio Sound Department is sound director Franklin E. Milton. I wish to thank the Academy on behalf of many people of our sound department whose whose technical talents and creative ability have made this possible. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. That's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give it an old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and share it with a friend if possible. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. TVG, out. (laughs) 